Hey everybody. So I got a few models coming in over the next week or so and this is the first one arrived from Starship Modeler. So I'm looking forward to this one. This will be my first kit from uh, the company called Stargazer which is actually a guy over in England named Ian Walsh and uh, he's a really big fan of 2001. He's done a lot of meticulous re research into uh, the designs of the ship and uh, let's not mince words. Let's open this up and see what we got here. So the Starship Modeler itself did a good packaging job here on uh, with the peanuts. As it says from Stargazer, the Aleutian Titoff C. This was seen on the desk of one of the uh, people on the set inside the station. It was never actually seen on film at least other than as a model representation. And uh five pieces, one decal sheet, casting by Blap, decals by Jbot. So uh let's pull this out of here and see what we get. I'm kind of surprised to have a label on there, so that's kind of nice. It's not something that always happens with uh garage kits. Thanks from Starship Modeler there. And a whole lot of peanuts to throw away, I guess. So I got a new tripod coming in, but not quite in time for uh, any help on this video, unfortunately. So we got some more peanuts here. So apparently in an early version of the script and then in Arthur Clarke's novel it says that Titov was uh, floating in orbit around the uh, space station. There it is. It's on the Hilton desk in the space station. So next time you watch the film, look for the Hilton window, the office, and uh, you will see this shape there. It's fairly simple. Two wings, two body halves, and an engine. Can't go wrong with that. One sheet of decals. Some one sheet of instructions rather. And definitely a nice set of uh, decals here. This will be my first set of JBot decals. I've usually ha dealt with uh, JT graphics overall. So I'm looking forward to seeing how these look here. Over in the box, let's see if we can. Well, we're gonna have to pull some of these out. So a little hollow, so that'll help out with any lighting if I decide to do that. At 144, that's a good size. Nice casting, sharp details, sharp relief on this piece. Nice and smooth, and it's a good hunk of resin right there for the wing. So as mentioned, there's five pieces, and you really can't get too much simpler than that. Some really nice details over on overall on them. We'll take a look at the uh, engine pod here first, if we can maintain some focus on that. Lines are pretty sharp and generally speaking fairly straight. There's a little bit of an edge on the piece there. I initially thought those were little uh, details but there's nothing on this side so I'm going to guess that those are uh, just resin leftovers. And if the camera can get in here with a little bit of light and some focus There is some uh, nice details going on in there, but it's really steep. There we go, you can kind of see them there. So this piece alone must have been a real pain to uh, mold. There's not too much cleanup to do on the back there, so that shouldn't be too bad. The only place I see any bubbles is on an inside part where you're not going to see any. The exterior of the kit itself is really nice and smooth, and uh, generally speaking, I'm going to say bubble free. Blappy is uh, really good and fairly well known as far as his work, so nothing unexpected there. I wasn't sure which way the wings went initially, but as you can see here, they do sweep up. 
and I fix the lamp there. So the wings do sweep up indicating that this is the top and both wings are not symmetrical. So that's a nice little touch. On the bottom it looks like we got some landing gear covers, a couple raised panels, a little bit of a ink mark there or something. A little bit of damage there, a little nook, that's probably from the mold itself, but not too bad. Now so far, this is the only weak line I've seen right there, and that is easily scribed out. There's another one. But this is not bad stuff, definitely not. And uh, let's take a look at the body here. This end is ridged, really nice and straight overall, there's no casting defects there. Again, these two sides are not symmetrical, except when you get up to the windows here. Those can probably be cut out, but I don't know if I'll be doing that or not. It's an interesting design. When I initially put the two pieces together, I thought that something like that was a key. There's one at each end, and the key would fit into the other side. However, it's uh, likely a molding... Uh, probably like an air vent kind of situation to allow for the best possible molding so that's no problem just shave those down completely you see there's a couple notches here over on the outside there's also a couple other notches that line up with those however there's notches on the wings so there's no tabs to actually be able to allow you to line that up perfectly but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm kind of surprised that the uh, bottom of the ship is not smooth. When the wings are attached, there will be a small lip going on. So, uh, you know, like the space shuttle, I should think that would be perfectly flat. But I don't think the Orion is. And speaking of the Orion, Starship Stargazer models, rather, also makes an Orion in this size, which is similar, 18 inches long. It's a uh, get a ruler here take a look at this We're looking at 12 and a half or so but uh, I'm pretty sure the Orion is larger than that but either way that's neither here nor there this is a really good size kit overall for what it is and uh, let me just uh, try and put this together in a real quick way so we can take a look at the overall size so I started slicing this piece off, but I don't have the proper tools. So uh, I don't want to pop that first half of the nose off, because that will be a pain to repair. So I'm just going to leave these uh, keys in there right now. Or... So this definitely needs me to uh, take those stubs out of there, so we can really see what's going on. But uh, this is definitely a really nicely sized kit for its form factor there. And I noticed while taping the nose together that... The uh, front window canopies there are indented, which is really nice. It's tough to tell from the photo. And speaking of the photos, this is a regular inkjet printing, it looks like, on regular standard paper. And uh, you lose all the details. You can't see what's going on. So it's, if it weren't for the wing flares, there'd really be no way to truly tell what's top and bottom, I don't think. I mean, you can guess that this is a landing uh, wheel cover kind of situation but that's not necessarily true so that is one downside it doesn't mention anything about how to deal with resin kits uh, apart from the fact that you need to wash it first in uh, warm soapy water with uh, either a sponge or an old toothbrush works too to get into the really small nooks and crevices There's definitely some nice details here I do like this I'm glad I got this kit it's only available on Starship Modeler, and I think it was uh, just shy of $100. So it's definitely not for the faint of heart or the financially strapped. But if you're a fan of 2001, this is definitely a nice one to get into the collection. Stargazer makes a bunch of others at this same scale. So uh, it's definitely something you can look at. And... Uh, I'll definitely consider getting some more from Stargazer because this is a really nice uh, piece of work here. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.